Gina Beasley could see her dream clearly as a young girl growing up in Benson, North Carolina. All she wanted was the opportunity to play basketball and to become a pediatrician. She learned the game in the small Johnston County community of Meadow, playing as an equal with boys her own age and older. She honed her skills while leading South Johnston High School to a state championship during her sophomore year. But she perfected the game on the court at Reynolds Coliseum, where she became the first four-year superstar of fellow NC State Athletics Hall of Fame inductee, Coach Kay Yao. Beasley never intended to be a pioneer for women's athletics. She never thought she would be remembered as a legend. But more than three decades after she played her final game, however, Beasley is still the standard by which every other Wolfpack women's basketball player is measured. Very few players play with the intensity that Gina played, but nobody in the game during her time had the jump shot, had the intensity on the court, and the street smart competitiveness that made her an All-American. Staying in school, however, was more difficult than Beasley imagined. She suffered from double vision and migraines. She couldn't concentrate while studying. Earning her NC State degree in zoology became one of the most difficult things she ever attempted. Basketball, on the other hand, came easy. For four consecutive seasons, she led the Wolfpack in scoring and rebounding. In 59 career games against teams from North Carolina, she and her teammates never lost. She averaged more than 18 points and nearly 10 rebounds per game for four years. Her 2,367 points and 1,245 rebounds remain as school records. She came to NC State just three years after the school began its women's basketball program. She helped the Wolfpack women win their first ACC regular season championship and the first ACC tournament title in school history. During her career, the Wolfpack never finished the season ranked lower than 11th in the nation and reached the program's pinnacle of third in 1978. She earned Kodak All-American honors and was named the North Carolina AAU Female Athlete of the Year in 1978. She represented her country as well as she represented NC State, winning the gold medal at the World University Games in Mexico City and at the Junior Pan American and Senior Pan American Games. Beasley against Crampton, holy cow! In 1986, she enrolled in optometry school in Florida to see if she could solve the problems she always had with learning and reading. She was diagnosed with an eye-teaming condition that caused the double vision and headaches and limited her academically. After spending nearly a decade teaching at an optometry school in Florida, Dr. Beasley opened her own vision therapy practice in Charlotte, specializing in pediatric developmental optometry to help infants, toddlers, and preschoolers. Dr. Beasley knows she's been fortunate to live two dreams. She's proud of what she accomplished on the basketball court as the first superstar in a pioneering program. But she's even happier when she goes to work every day with an opportunity to help children overcome the same problems she had. To be a member of the first class at NC State, be in the Hall of Fame, is so special to be included and to be associated with the likes of Kay Yao, Jim Valvano, David Thompson, and all the other great players and uh, coaches that will be inducted tonight. This, it's, it just overwhelms me with pride for NC State, pride for uh, North Carolina, and pride for you know, the Wolfpack women's basketball program.